Hello, good morning, welcome back to a new video of Micro Supplies. Today we have a POCO X3 Pro. It is stuck in a boot loop. It's booting and it falls out and it goes booting again. And this is uh, a well known CPU problem. Most phones that have a boot loop is uh, almost always that you need to rebuild the CPU. So I'm gonna disassemble the phone and we're gonna rebuild the CPU. Now the phone is disassembled. Here I have the motherboard. I'm gonna put it in the board holder. First thing that we're gonna do is to remove the metal shield because under here is the CPU. We're gonna remove the shield on 500 degrees and 120 uh, airflow on the quick 861 uh, dw first i'm gonna bend the shield a little bit so i can put my tweezers under it a little bit bent up now so i can apply a little pressure Now the shield is removed and as we can see here are two chips stacked on each other on the side is the cpu the upper side is the ram and this is the uh, i think this is the emmc the ssd remove the cooling paste uh, and this is the chip that we need to rebuild so first we're gonna remove the underfill and the underfill removal we do on 210 degrees and 80 airflow airflow doesn't matter really much don't want it to have uh, too low and don't apply too much pressure with the with this tool because you will scratch the board so now the underfill is removed we're gonna remove the ram from the cpu do this on 380 degrees I put, my, I put my tool ready to go under it when it's molten so we put the ram as fast as possible off the board because we don't want to overheat the board put this aside let the board cool down a little bit as you see on the fill here and here if you heat it too much the balls uh, will make short under the chip so now it's cooled down a little bit doesn't have to be cold the yeah, same thing and the cpu is removed now because the board's a little warm uh, now we're gonna put some flux on here and mix it with some low melt solder tin so now everything is low melt solder tin so we're gonna remove the tin now we will remove the tin with some solder wick now the board's mostly uh, thin free so we're gonna clean it with some alcohol we're gonna clean up the little pieces of the underfill see the tin isn't uh, fully removed i'm gonna go again with the wick over the board so we're gonna take the wick and we're gonna clean the board we're gonna add a little bit more uh, low melt solder tin because it's easier to remove the old tin so now the board is fully tin free and remove the flux now the board is almost ready for assembling. Last step, I'm gonna add some flux, heat the board up a little bit, like this. Now the board's ready. I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna work on the CPU and RAM. I'm gonna take my preheater. I really love this thing for uh, removing the underfill. It's so easy to use. It's just a USB-C. You plug it in. It's ready to go. I like it. It's very small. And I put it on 180. If I start low, I can always go on higher if the temperature is too low. And we also gonna mix this with some low melt solder. So now the underfill is all removed. Now we're gonna remove all the cold solder joints. You could 
do this with a soldering iron. I like to do is a bit some flux. Take uh, the solder wick. Just need a little little piece. Add a lot of thin to the wick, and then go over it. Don't push too hard because you will scratch the chip. So now most of them aren't cold solder joint anymore. Now we're gonna clean up the solder tin. Now we're gonna clean it. Now the IC is fully cleaned. You can start with the CPU. Start the removal of the underfill. These chips on here are uh, capacitors. Doesn't matter if they, uh, these fall off. Now again, to remove the last bits of underfill, I'm gonna put it back in the preheater. I think it's gonna be a problem with the cold solder joints, but I can't get them uh, to shine. So I'm just gonna reball it. If it won't work, we're gonna reball it again. one is clean also we can start the reballing process now for the reballing we're gonna take a piece of paper uh, toilet paper we're gonna fold it twice we're gonna put it on the magnet would be any chip now we're gonna add the stencil yes now it's aligned properly and L add the low melt solder tin and I will hold the stencil with my tweezer reballing we do on 210 degrees Now I'm gonna add some flux for the balls that didn't uh, go stuck on the CPU like this one here. It's easier to, to get it stuck on the CPU and now we're gonna reheat it. Let it cool down a bit and then we can lift up the stencil. Now the CPU is reballed. Only thing I see one ball is stuck in the stencil or at least one. Now we're gonna reflow the CPU. Now we're gonna add the stencil once again and there's also here one didn't go on there that's because of the cold solder joints you can see they are still stuck in stencil except for the under under here as we can see in the other balls are stuck on the cpu except for this one and i've seen here this one these look a little bit too big but to be sure we're gonna remove this and uh, add some new ones to, to remove this easily without making any damage we're gonna heat them up let it cool down just a little bit and we can knock them up like this search for a schematic and here at the schematic so we can look if the pets that are gone if they are important because it can take a long time to replace them or you can make a fault that something uh, goes wrong you you need to start over because if they are not important why replace them so the first pet is like here so this pet is away but it's it's gray it's ground and we have some pets over here. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. And then it's the fourth. One, two, three, four. This one is important. Because there's only one lane. And then this one isn't, this one isn't. And this one kinda is. But uh, because there are a lot of points uh, on the CPU, when one is missing, it doesn't matter. So we're only gonna replace 
this one then at the other side with a missing pad 17 also ground doesn't matter so there is only one pen uh, that that needs a uh, pin only this upper one and the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna take the stencil like so and then we have a lot of balls and now we're gonna put this on here now it's on there now the cpu is fully rebuilt we're gonna rebuild the ram Yes, and we need to rebuild this again. I can already see there are too many balls that aren't sticking to, this, to the IC. And that's because of the cold solder joints. You've seen there are a lot. ones that are still called solder joints we're gonna scratch them a little bit Good morning, sunshine. now we'll rebuild it properly now we're gonna apply the solder paste And now they should be all stuck on the RAM. As you can see, they are all stuck. Now we can assemble the phone. Therefore, we need the motherboard and the CPU. It's only one possible way the CPU can go. Always, it needs to be like this. You can see how it needs to go. Always look in the schematic where the dot is it put it as straight as possible in the motherboard now we can heat it we think it's hot enough give it a little push and when it goes back on its place it's warm enough get some flux for the ram as we can see on the cpu on this kind of cpu you can see it can only be one way but some cpus are all even and like this the ram here's the dot also here as you can see here's the dot and here in the corner also align this properly now give it a little push and it's ready. I'm gonna let it cool down and we're gonna test the phone. The phone is assembled. I'm gonna take the USB-C cable, charge it. We will see if it boots up. And there we can see it's booting. Let's wait for it fully booting. Most of the cheap phones that are boot looping are um, yeah, most of the time CPU problem. You rebuild the CPU and the phone is on again. Most of the times, because these are cheap phones, we do this for data recovery. Uh, this customer uh, didn't care about the data because they already uh, reset it, but it's working again. If there's something I didn't explain well, or something you want to know, or you want us to repair, let us know in the comments. We will respond to all the comments. Bye.